Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be making this comic book effect tutorial. So it's pretty simple and easy. It doesn't it doesn't take too long. Um, I'll I'll be doing a couple images today just to show you what they all look like because it is such a short tutorial. And I'll do two black and white and one color just to mix it up a bit. And first of all, I do have to say that. Um, image quality does matter with this tutorial because basically the bigger the better um, you're going to get more detail and in the effect and um, if you, you can use it on a small image but it, it probably won't turn out as good so just take that in mind that the image does need to be big and of reasonable quality so I'll start off by doing this first image um, here I'll go filter filter gallery. I'll just um, delete those first. Okay the first one I want to use is um, film grain and the settings are one zero zero and then I want to go down here I don't think you can see it um, and click the little new effect layer and you get another one so now I want to go to the poster edges and the settings for that are eight one four and then I'll click OK. Okay, so what that does is basically I'll get more detail out of what I'm going to do next. So now I'll go down to here and click there and use this threshold adjustment layer. Now I want to slide. What I'm basically looking at is um, how much detail I want in the shadow. So when, when there's a couple of highlights in his hat there, I'll probably stop. So just about to there. And then I'll come over here, right click, and flatten image. And that's uh, basically the effect. So there's not a lot involved, but you do get um, some like line work, and um, I, I think it does re um, resemble a comic book effect a little bit. So um, yeah, we'll do the next two. Um, this one, filter, filter gallery. My settings are already in there, so I'll just hit OK. And down here again, fresh hold, and then drag it till I'm just looking at the blacks again, how much I want. So probably around there, right click, flatten image. And that one, this has a lot of detail on it. it. Looks looks really good, in my opinion. Anyways, and um, the last one we're gonna do color. So let's do that. um. I'll just make a layer, duplicate layer, because I want to keep that one. Um, I'll go filter, filter gallery. And I've got my settings are already in there, so I'll click OK. Come down here again, do the same thing. And then go probably around here with this guy. And then I'm going to hold, because um, I've got another, I don't want to, I want this for later, so. I'll just hold shift and then right click and just go merge those two layers. Alright, so I'm going to duplicate this one, layer, duplicate layer, OK. And then go to multiply. And I need this original image for a minute, so what I'm going to do is just, um, I've already done it here, so uh, pick a color there from the actual image. Then go back out. Now we could turn that off. We probably don't need that one too. So I'm here. I'm underneath the multiply layer. And then I'm just going to go layer new, new layer. Okay. Then with my brush tool, I'm just going to paint in this color. So I don't need to worry about the black area because I'm underneath it. Okay. So here again. I'll just do this quickly and we're not just going to use a single color I'm not going to do the whole image too because let's face it you know you don't want to see that I'll be here for 15 minutes doing this and then um you know we don't want just a single color so we'll click here again and go for a lighter color and um you know we want to do maybe some lighting so we'll paint on his chest here 
when they'd probably be more light and maybe here and then I'm going uh, to the mixer brush tool and then I'm just gonna blend blend that in like so mm. so obviously I'd spend a lot more time on this than I am here um, and we can do this for the darker color as well so uh, maybe I'll come down here and then go back to the brush tool paint some um, maybe where the, the darker areas are and then I'll go back to the mixer brush tool and blend that in obviously you want to stay in the lines which I'm not really doing but yeah I think you get the idea I could keep going with that and paint the hoeing obviously I'm not in the lines there but mm. okay so that's uh, basically the tutorial um, I could keep I could finish that but it might take me a while anyways I hope you liked it um, you can experiment with um, the filter gallery a bit like Lee's aren't set in stone if you want to experiment uh, experiment a bit and um try to get a little bit of a different effect or whatever but yeah thanks for watching and um, I'll have some more soon bye